If the shoe fits, wear it. And if the shoe really stands out, we'll feature it here in our top five special shoes of the Pro Peloton. While a number of companies are doing limited edition or even custom creations for the top riders, we have to give our number one spot here to a hand-created work. Being world champion comes with a few privileges, including a seemingly unlimited supply of high-end footwear. Peter Sagan has worn a few limited edition styles of the Specialized S-Work 6 this season, but our favorite is this green number with a mirrored heel cup. The Californian brand has been selling small batches of the limited edition 6 shoes, but only one man gets the reflection of the rainbow stripes bouncing off of his shiny kicks. On the other end of the flashy spectrum, Greg Van Avermaet's black and white shoes are pretty plain from a distance. Van Avermaet appears to be more interested in the go than the show, but a closer look reveals that the outsoles of his Rocket 7 shoes are custom molded to his feet. And judging from his wins at the Olympics in Peru Bay, the shoe does indeed seem to fit. Okay, how many G words can we string together here? Andre Gorilla Griple's great Giro grabbing Garnet is go, go, go. Two Boa IP1 dials block down the fit on these Garnet G Stilo Zuppers, which are made from a single piece of microfiber. Bahrain Merida has not yet won royally in the world tour, but their gold, blue, and red kits do look the kingly part. And although CD has slipped from its near total dominance upon the Pro Peloton's feet, it is still a very popular shoe in the world tour. And hey, this thing is gold. Every other shoe on this list features graphics and designs that were handed to a rider. Jim B. Drucker, on the other hand, hand drew his graphics with touches from home. On his left foot, the BMC rider has Luxembourg's skyline on his toe, and Super Jimp, who's a Luxembourg comic book character, on the outside. Jimpy and his wife have an English bulldog they've named Elvis, who stars prominently on his right foot, along with a quote from that other Elvis. And speaking of V8 engines, Drucker and his wife have a 1965 Ford Mustang at home. 